Hi everybody. I want to make a quick video of what not to do if you plan on playing with your little sculpture quite a bit. Uh, this guy I sculpted pretty thin around the wire and you can see I put this scale texture all over him. Well when I sculpted him, first of all I sculpted his tail bending like this. So I've discovered while playing with him when I go to bend his tail the other way around See right there, it's cracking. You can actually see down to the wire inside. So what I would do in the future is when I sculpt it and bake it, I would just have his tail straight out. That way in the future, I go to bend it, it's not gonna super stress that one point here. Cause when it baked it was probably bent like that. So when I bend it the other way, it puts an intense amount of stress right here. The other thing I noticed is with all of these little hair things coming off of him, some of them did not really connect that well to the body. So as I'm playing with him, they are starting to get pretty loose. I'm gonna have to glue those back on. You can see here, there's one here too that's getting pretty loose, so just try and make sure your things get attached really well. This clay wasn't conditioned super well when I made it because uh, <laughs> I was conditioning it by hand instead of rolling it through my pasta machine, which I should have done, so hey, you learn. Every time you make something, you learn. But that seems to be my only problem. Everything else seems to be really good and strong. The legs are fine. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other problem. But, you know, I probably wouldn't have had this problem so much if the clay wasn't so thin here either. So, I'll just do it differently next time. But I wanted to share that in case anybody else does something similar. It's fun to play with though.